Hello everyone, this video is an introduction to Adobe InDesign interface. Um, all the elements in Adobe InDesign are divided to different segments. On the left side, we have the toolbar. The toolbar includes all the tools we need in Adobe InDesign, including the selection tool, type tool, pen, zoom tool, etc. Anytime you want to use a tool, you just simply click on it. Right above the, uh, the toolbar is the options tool. So anytime you select a tool, the options are going to change accordingly. For instance, right now I'm on the selection tool, so I see the options that are available for selection tool. If I switch to type tool, um, I see we have font family, font size, etc. So uh, the whole bar here on the top is considered a or an option options bar. Uh, right above that is the menu bar, which um, includes file, edit, layout, type, and so forth. Uh, let's move to the right side. We have the panels, um, which include uh, pages, layout. Uh, sorry, layers, links, so forth. You might have uh, different panels uh, than you see here on the screen. I will explain it to you how to bring them, um, bring different panels and remove them. Uh, but before we get there, uh, let's take a look at uh, the panels and see how to work with them. In order to expand a panel, simply click on the label of it. For instance, I want to open the pages panel, just click on it. If you want to collapse the panel, again, click on the label and it goes away. Right in the bottom, I have swatches panel. I can actually move it around. I can bring it outside and snap it right here. When it turns blue, there you go, let it go. So there's a notch here on the top of each one of these panels, which you can grab and um, pull out the panel. Um, I'm going to grab swatches and bring it outside and now you see there's an X here which allows me to close the panel. Anytime you close a panel it will be gone from the list of the panels. Uh, if you remember which panel you closed you can go back to window and bring it back. I do remember I closed swatches so I'm assuming it's under colors and swatches. Um, I will click on the notch and bring it back here. If you happen to forget which panel you closed, you can go back to Window, go to Workspace, and you see a list of preset workspaces. The most common workspace is called Essentials. You can reset Essentials and it will bring all the panels back to the Essentials default. Uh, you also have access to that here on the top menu right here you can go to essentials and also you can select different settings if you wish. Uh, the center part shows the artwork itself so these are the pages uh, there's a scroll bar here on the right side you can go up and down I have several pages here or eight to be exact you can navigate through the pages by going to the Pages panel and uh, double-clicking on a page. For instance, right now I'm on um, page 1. I would like to go to page 8. I can just double-click here and it takes me there. Again, I want to go to page 1. I can double-click here and it jumps to page 1. You can do the same thing here in the bottom with the or where the status bar is located. Uh, there's a uh, menu. If I click on that, it gives me all uh, page numbers. Again, I can go to different pages by clicking on the page number. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.